Hola people, hoping this will help somebody. So I'm installing these premium anti-slip mats on our RV steps. I've already bit it on these things three times uh, when it was wet. These aluminum areas have almost no tread at all. And if you try and turn while you're on the steps, let's say you're opening the door for somebody, not mentioning any names, that person is the cause of you to wipe out on the wet metal steps and kill yourself. So I've just installed one. I figured why don't I record this to help somebody else in case they're running into the same situation. So I'm going to ask the uh, person who caused my falls to hold the camera. That's such a lie. And um, yeah, so let me let me show you on this bonnet one. So all I'm going to do is brush off what's there. This grip tape that came with it, this is a brand new uh, trailer. If you just peel this up with your finger, fingernail. The other one came off much easier. So just start the edge. Maybe don't pull as hard. Okay, so that's gone. And uh, probably could apply these things over the top of it. I'm not taking a chance. So the pack that I just showed you comes with six strips they're too long for this so what i'm going to do is use these grooves and a razor knife as a guide to get rid of these round corners and then square off the strip so i've tried cutting it face down and unfortunately it grabs too much because of the way the uh the grit or the rock or sand or whatever is in the is in the material so even though it seems a bit counterintuitive I'm going to go from the top down. So I'm just lining it up in one of these grooves, getting it square, putting pressure inside of that groove, and just cutting across to get a nice square uh, cut. So we'll measure the next one by laying it onto the step, just kind of eyeballing it and getting it to where it looks pleasant. I'm not going to go directly to the corner because if I go directly to the corner, then I'm probably not going to be able to, um, probably not going to be able to trim it. So I'm just going to overlap the one that's there, put a small slit to mark it, and then try and find that slit, which isn't happening. All right, so there we go. Overlap small slit I'll go over here and square it off again just using this other just using the step itself as a guide and there we go so I'm gonna start the strip I'm gonna peel it off just at a 45 degree angle not the whole thing because you want to be able to guide the strip and put it in place. I'm just looking down here in the corners to try and get a bit of an overlap of where the previous one was so that it doesn't stand out and look too much like an eyesore. All right, so now that we have it in place, press down the area that has the adhesive exposed. And then while I'm holding this side, I'm just gonna pull out, press it down. Pull out, press it down, a little bit more material, press it down until the point goes, there we go. Now, you could probably just step on this to work it in, and that would be adequate. I had to be a bit more anal and grab a J-roller from Amazon. And this is just going to press it in and work out any of the air bubbles that might be there, hoping to prolong the life Let me get to the other side, excuse me. Right, that's not going anywhere as far as the top the top's a bit thicker I'm going to grab two of these sheets and I'm wondering 
Hmm. Not sure if I want to overlap it. What the heck, we'll give it a shot. There's no right answer, I guess. So we'll peel this old one off. the edge again comes right off oh, hang on a minute let's go there okay So we know where that one's going to land. Let's grab the last strip. Square off this edge. And since we already have this one cut, maybe we'll try and make it a bit more even. And I don't really care about it being even as much as I care about it being safe and a bit more tolerable of wet weather. Fold up the knife, toss it. All right, so that gives us two strips that are yeah, pretty close. Brush the scraps. All right, so we're gonna peel this off at a 45 degree angle. All right, so that's the first one. I don't know if I should try and, I think I might actually cut that off. It's not overlapping the edge because I'm not going to get the edge perfectly straight anyway. Let's go here. It's about right. That's okay, yeah? Mm -hmm. Peel off this edge. 45 degree angle, line it up, nice, and I'll grab the anal retentive roller. Hmm, that's interesting. Very anyway, much better. Okay, well, that's how I'm installing it. The final product, that's the top step, the middle. The bottom step and like I said if you just want to grip it with your feet huh, step on it work it in I'm sure that'll work just fine as well so yeah hope this helps plumb on